practically there are two words that make up the word of smartness. One is fashion, two is style. Now fashion is what you're putting on and style is how you manipulate and play around smartly with what you are putting on. Now today we said to take a walk at Uganda Institute and have the experience of a fashion show. See the students, what they are putting on, which kind of material, which fabric, how much has it costed them to make all the material and of course let them tell us as we roll on the chit chat with me, David. We start with Uganda and we still speaking to a few students who are into fashion and design. And I have a moderator with me. I want to speak to her. Hey, what's up? What's your name? I'm Latifa. Latifa. Which course? Fashion and design. Okay, uh, so who dressed you today? Leticia. Leticia. Yeah, Leticia. Yeah. So how does it feel uh, being dressed uh, into such an attire? First of all, tell me about this attire. The attire is good and it's... Uh, is it uh, ra from Rande? And it, I feel good. Uh, you know, culture is one thing that people would love to embrace. Uh, what would you tell someone out there about this culture wear? The culture wear, it's nice and good. Okay. And I feel good with it. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. We still at Uganda Institute, and uh, w w the model has been with us. Let's speak to more of the people, and I will interact with them about the fashion show. I'm going to go to from Buganda Royal Institute. Okay, uh, Onakunga Royalty knows that one by the Echin to Chewe Kore de Kusada Chente get deco. What was a Oak Chekore going as a student? Nasaza Oak Chekore, a Kwan, a Chimpe Milembe, a Tena was a Chin to Chenda, a Chijai Figayang, a Chinu Milum Bidigwangi. Okay, I talked to the Banga Chocolate Dress Waiti, Neva and get steady. Over the course you want to go under you? Madame Color Certificate in Color Fashion and Design. Okay. Uh, Kakati Fashion and Design. Course say you which you you're undergoing so challenges chick so much what you could go in the through or to Kakuna Kuno or a fashion show. Mm sing it at the lava de material, but to cause this uh if you cause this but the Biba Bia Bay Chidala Sivia Gubiakuna. Uh, I was a designer, 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 I was a Okay, Kale, I want to tell you where you are from Mugamba, who fashion and design, or what Oksomo and Okosi Joriko are where you are from. I am It's okay, no cost yet to ask me. See, I can only a medium. So, what are you doing? You business is a fee. You are doing a sanga fee. Next, you are not doing a job. You are doing a business. Twenty zero twenty zero. Just make your catching All right. Our teacher looks free TV along at Turku Gander Institute. Now I can soak and buzzeco, our Chalibanga Mesa Zeco, Chichiwan Ruariro, Ngamuli so happy when I'm in a metal. Are fashion show? Fashion show? Yeah. Fashion show is a genuine or a moment all about spirit TV. Fashion show is just fashion show stage. The fashion show, we're not for our easy Revalagira came with a Missoni Jenjaulo, a Jengoy, Goyazab. Category uh, no more is a go dresses on a crowd. Yeah, I will. Go, Jack. Oh, no, what you want? No, what you want? But I have a number so with that. So, what we don't call girl, no, well, our members that much take as a go, because they chuck to the bang at you or do cola, era, chichiche, was come as a bachelor of your mongo or cola. Ntiyo kuzibu wena funye jiasti mkuru gula kubanga matiyo ya bade wa bay. Chatu te sente meka specifically okula orugoe wewiti paka ku final stage. E mitoale na neshtu. Kale njaga lasko gira kone modo. Modo, uli kwa wote ango li murugoe oru atabu wewiti. Okusika, okusika kela dala mpuli labu longi. Kubanza siri muyinsu wawa no. Just while we are young, we are going to be able to do this. Because I'm a designer and I'm a model, I'm a dancer, so that never have an opportunity to do this. 
Yeba tu seko, ebi ntu yeba kola. Tulemo kwe gombengo yezebo eluzoka. Sobolo okugumiza haba na bafe. Ebi tona yeba funye. Waka tuwobo tungolugoe uwe utinga. Evening dress nge labi kabo eti. Nga mwana wawa no yajitunze. Chibacha mani dala. Oluguwe nga boi tomiza ramba wa kumukolo chi. Oba ku, you know, event chi. Sometimes katinga unoluguwe re nyamba de. Oinzo kwa mbala like inga ku red carpet. Oinzo kwa mbala inga ku wedding like that. Like oina yoka date inga date ya yele inga ya bufinani ziwa oso duwa mbala. Yes. Kani nga tuma liza, omuizi wa fede ya yambazizo mwendo wa fe. Kagamba chiko inzo kugamba omutuwa leyo anyoma. Kwa sibweti, eye mikono atengo mwotovoli jifuna mwomu limo. Nze nkubiliza wa ntubo na wona. Kubiliza wa ntubo na wona wale menga kunyoma milimu kubanga. Mulimuli mugufu na mwubela. Kala omulimu gona gona wogufako funamu. Na yebo dao nonyo matofu nobe dao. Ok, sita tupu gandaro anda tuchariwa naba hizi aba fashion and design ona kwa lero wa fashion show. Kaseke mbuzeko, amanjiko wa kuitani? Chiemba Janat. Nga sume la kupu gandaro yonko la fashion and design. En, ono nga ndi design, I mean ndi modowe, nzize kumuwa ambalila. Ok, so gwe designer ono, sicho? Chakutuwa hide banga chokola ata eno wetu. Chantuwa hide sawa satu. Sawa satu. Obvious case. Onimba. Nyo. Ok. Wabanga chakutuwa hide sawa satu kolo gwe wabili. Tore gwe wabili tiba inza ruwa mbali la mubi fochi. Era omutuwa inza ruko esa changa rufunye. Actually eno changing dress. Osobolo jamba la ku bidi party. You have a bidi party. Jangu tu kone ko. Let us work upon this. You get. Then. Osobolo jamba la omugole chilonga. Gendo sala ke. This is a type of stuff. Gendo sala ke. This is a type of stuff. Gendo sala ke. This is a type of stuff. Gendo sala ke. This is a type of Era Ronaldo za ubalo wetegeleza abagole abasinga Osobloji ita gown naye la evening gown ekola ku birthday parties ekola ku ceremonies wedding ceremonies naye ba graduation yo kenyini here at Buganda Royal Fashion I understand uh, fashion is quite expensive so if I ask how much did it take you to come up with such a whole piece the material and the making labor and all that Actually the material was at 150 material yoyo yo ka ojigulo obuguzi yade ku mitwalo 115 150 uh, Kaleba kange na manye genata demo, I think hebe jia kujigwe la mitu alonga satu. Nenga woboje tekekeleza, this is worth it. Just look at it, man. So, where do you see fashion uh, in yourself as an individual after school? Uh, do you have plans of opening up like bigger entities that are about fashion? Uh, do you have anything opening up boutiques and anything like that? Actually, I don't have plans, but because I've already opened up one. I'm having a boutique, I'm shopping ground, shop number four, Magazi Collections. Uh, Tuko la kungo izaba sajwa, brido, ama koti, neno changing dress, yo ya yo gelela yeka. And then, tukenda basa ba, you know, there are a lot of young fashion stars. Abali wili ngo kufayo, na just that platform mwemuji wade nyo, abantu wabakulu wa A-brands na wasigade. As pa now the A-brands, utulubanga ba Romo Dobafe. Those of QC ni, I think ya ambaza Fikfa Maika. Speaking of that, who is that particular fashionista in Uganda, or international ways, that really inspires you to do the whole thing of fashion? Na eka njini achimanyi, A-brands tewali mulala. All right, we're still at Uganda Institute and we're still speaking to more people. And uh, I think uh, I can have more of the mothers. We're still at Uganda and uh, this particular building is the cosmetology building. Uh, I want to in Bizigo Nemviri. And of course, I want to speak to a few ladies. Uh, that have different hairstyles and they should tell us how long did it take for them to come up with these hairstyles. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? What's your name? Nabiria Grand Subakoya. Okay, so uh, I see a little bit of uh, art in your hair. I see uh, a CD, a compact disc. I see, you know, uh, wrapping paper. Tell me about this hair. I can send you my friend, tell you more, because she's the one who designed me. Okay, so this is your designer? Okay, let me speak to the designer right away. Uh, hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Uh, what's your name? I'm called Namlindwa Huda. Uh, which course? C course. C course? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, how long did it take you to come up with such uh, a hairstyle, uh, creatively like this? Since I'm the cosmetology artist or I'm the hairstylist, yeah. it can take a lot of time because I use actually the way five hours. Yeah. 
Okay, and uh, with this kind of creativity, why did you pick such material? Because you never compact this key, never wrapping paper. I mean, what inspired you to come up with such, you know, awesome stuff? Where did I do the it from? Where did I get the idea from? Yes, well, exactly. What inspired you and why did you get the idea? Because it's bright and the bright thing, by the way, is the most thing they look at. If you do that, that things according to the dressing code, uh, my dress fashion person who designed her, I, I then I, I looked at the dressing code and I said that I, I, at least this one will be better because it's bright. It will uh, remo come up with the fashion I've made. So what do you, which, what do you use to determine the, the best hairstyle for which uh, shape of head? Oh, come on, I haven't understood you. Like, uh, actually, what we have is not because if you look at the, the style I've made, no one to know about the coach apart from that one with a short hair. I can't do this, I can only put on the braids, low dreadlocks, such stuff. But this one, unless it can match with this hair, yeah, that's it. Which event or occasion can someone use uh, such hair? I think uh, creative, creative, okay. yeah. Okay. So one word for that particular person out there about uh, cosmetology and creativity in hairstyle. What? I haven't got you. Uh, like, tell, me, tell us one word to the public about uh, this kind of hair and hairstyle at large. Yeah, I think it's very attractive and people... They are also most attracted since we are having most of the artists coming up and we are having upcoming. So, I, nothing more about that because everything, everybody knows about that, that it's the most thing of people doing this time round because the only job remaining and we having little about that. Mm, that's it. Thank you so much, uh, our model and our designer. It is still the fashion show at Uganda Institute and uh, right about now I'm going to speak to one of the people that are, are a big pillar in this particular setup and she has been in this game for some good time. Allow me to introduce you to her and of course she will tell us who she is and what she does in this particular session of the part of uh, the fashion show. Right about now allow me to introduce you to her in your face. Hey. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Kindly introduce yourself to the people watching you at Spirit Television. I'm Zawe De Monica, the head of department Art and Design. Into the head of uh, the department of Art and Design, there are a number of courses. We have Diploma in Art and Design, Diploma in Interior Design, Diploma in Cosmetology, and Diploma in Fashion Design. As well as the corresponding certificate courses, that is Certificate in Fashion Design, Certificate Art and Design, Certificate in Cosmetology, yeah, they are basically three certificates. Great, I know they are for it. Now, let's talk about this particular day. Uh, tell us about this day, and first of all, its background, till now where we are. Mm. Today is the ninth fashion show, the tennis fashion show. In other words, we call it the Fashion Eye. It is the ninth of its kind. We started way back with a few students. We had uh, the first fashion show comprised of four students at, at diploma level and eight at a certificate level. Today we are proud to say that we have a number of them. Today we are showcasing 150 students of fashion show design. Then definitely that must be a big project over there. And uh, for someone uh, who is out there, what, the, what is involved in a fashion show in such a school setup? The fashion show is a, a uh, it shows a number of projects that have been done by the students. For today, it is the certificate students showcasing works of term one, term two, and term three. Mm. The fashion show is academic. At the end of it all, the best student in either of the you know, the groups that are showcasing will be rewarded by the institute. Good enough. I uh, was speaking about uh, the best student uh, being ready by the institute. 
what what are the student what are the students supposed to do in order to have uh, the best of their presentation the best of their you know fabrics the best of their works be put out there what are those particular issues or particular key points they should put in consideration okay the works have to be done as per the curriculum the works have to be supervised no works should be done from outside without the lecturer's supervision then after you have done that all the works have to be properly presented ironed and a good model selected to showcase your fabric Good enough. So speaking about a uh, good model, uh, good fabric, how about if a student out there uh, hires, it's always quoted uh, machinery, over amanya mapia. Naf no muntu ye weru, na mutungire chintu chino chona chona, na chivaita na chipresentinga. Like, how do you go about that? Usually, before we bring out the fashion show, we carry out a critique in which we, uh, we mark the various projects done. As per that given eh, semester or term, we mark them and meaning that whatever we are showcasing out there has already been approved. If someone brings in an extra machinery to do for him or her a specific project, that very work will be again singled out because our machines depict a relatively different finishing as compared to those ones out. In other words, it would be an experienced work. Um, a student's work is a student's work. Although, within them, there are some best students. Mm. Uh, okay, Madam Monica, I believe uh, such a setup that we have seen people, you know, showcasing, it comes to mind that this material is, one, expensive, two, uh, whatever it involves to make it up is also quite expensive. The labor, the time, the material. So why do you think these students get the money and yet they're still in school to bring up such a thing? These students are basically sponsored by their parents. Those who don't have parents have guardians. There is always someone behind, either a parent or a guardian, to cater for these materials. As for the institute, the institute offers the rest to the lecturer to demonstrate. Yeah. Actually, that's what I was coming. Is there a particular amount that institute contributes to the students, you know, a percentage? Because I'm imagining a parent out there, an average parent, who is uh, done with paying tuition and now there's this extra money of the fashion show so is there a way a school can help a parent achieve uh, for the student the fashion fabric and the material all right when it comes to that basically the institute offers the lecture with demonstration material then on addition to that it goes ahead and offers examination eh, material so the learner foots the rest because these materials are quite expensive and we do not restrict the learner onto a specific material. You have seen the evening where students have showcased different types of materials. If the school is to go out there to buy those fabrics for the learners, then it would be too much for the institute. So in, a, in an effort to improve the students' creativity, we leave them to choose the material. That's why the judges today are marking one material selection, color selection, presentation, finishing, and the rest. So they go out there and choose. Okay, let's speak about uh, the different wares that have been showcased there over. Uh, I want you to break down for someone watching the TV. What are some of those, uh, you know, different wares and, uh, you know, where are they expected to be either put on or be used after they have been made up? Okay. We have showcased evening wear. We have showcased uh, the traditional wears. Into that we have the Gomez. We have the Mishanana. We have um, the African wear itself. We have uh, the dust coat, the dinner wear, the uh, lounge, the jumper. We have uh, waistcoats. Overcoats, dust coat, warehouse coats. In other words, we are training our learner to go out there and tap every opportunity because those are various items that have been told to them. If a client comes in in need of any of those, our learners will always be in position to make. Okay, uh, Madam Monica, I want you to quickly, before we can get done with the interview, 
uh, help us understand uh, if uh, someone makes such an outfit, for example, an African wear, uh, where is it supposed to be taken after the showcasing? Is it to the school? Are they free to sell it out? I mean, how, what do you do with the material or with the cloth that has been already made after showcasing? After showcasing, today they are going to keep their clothes and then display them tomorrow because tomorrow we have an exhibition. Two, it is academic where it is given and uh, uh, marked out of 100%. So they are going to showcase them again tomorrow in, in, uh, the, under uh, the exhibition, marked again alongside with other items that you have not seen. Then after that, each learner goes with his works. Why do they go with them? We as a school, we have not contributed towards those fabrics, but we have taught. Then in addition to that, they use those clothes. They sell them out there and start up other projects, like workshops, because we are training entrepreneurs. We want them to start. And there is no way they would start if they don't sell off those fabrics. Mm. Okay, speaking about uh, the winner of uh, the fashion show, uh, what does the winner get? The winner, it depends. Eh? If the winner is... Uh, no, we do not give out the winner price in terms of money. We buy items in line with your cost. For example, we will see a cosmetology student could be get a dryer, hmm? get an iron, get a curling iron in that line. Get a sink, get a, uh, maybe a facial steamer. The school can afford to give out such to the learners. Then when it comes to the fashion students, of course a sewing machine, the various types of sewing machines can be given out by the institute, the iron itself, and so in the, and the like. Okay, uh, how important is this fashion show for someone who's watching uh, Spirit TV? How, of which value can it add to the student? One, the fashion show is an exposure. Hmm? First of all, it markets the institute. Secondly, it encourages the learners always to yearn to put out the best. It is, this is, in fact, the second fashion show where the parents have not been invited. But we usually invite the parents to come down. But because of the COVID-related issues, it is today that we don't have them. Even the previous, we didn't have them. We carried out a scientific one. So as for the parents, they get to know our effort. All right, so well, that's what the viewers of Spirit TV as we wind up with this interview. We wish the best for Spirit TV. And we yearn. Let Spirit TV market Uganda Rural Institute. We need more students. We have sent out these ones. Where are the ones we are going to teach? Please, parents, bring us more learners at Uganda Rural Institute. We also, uh, what I didn't tell you is that uh, we also offer courses like certificate in elementary tailoring and certificate in hairdressing for learners who have dropped out. We also teach them. Thank you very much. After having such an experience of fashion, style, the different wears, I talk about the culture wear, the evening wear, the beach wear, and the office wear, and all other wears, I will now ask you a question. Uh, what is that particular item or attire would love to add in your wardrobe right there at your home, or in your living room, or in your place, wherever you are staying, right here on the chit chat? And of course, sir, we can evidently tell that the future of fashion and style in Uganda is such a bright one. And we only have one question for you who is watching Spirit TV. What is a particular item you'd love to add in your wardrobe after seeing the different wares? Engage with us and of course I'll be a part of the show every other day, Monday to Friday, right here on Spirit TV. Yeah, my name is Dev MC and I'll be right back with more of the conversations. <laughs>